Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to transfer your photos and videos from your DJI Pocket 3 to your laptop or PC. So if you have this SD card adapter, which can be inserted in your laptop, you can use this method. So for that, you need to take off your SD card from your DJI Pocket 3. To do this, you slightly press on it with your, well, usually you can use fingernail, and then when it comes out, you can just pull it off. You insert it in this SD card adapter, and then you insert it in your laptop so you can transfer like that. But the most common step is to do it directly from your DJI Pocket 3. So we need to insert our SD card back in using same same method, just like that. So now what we need to do is to take the cable ending with USB on one side and then Type-C on the other side. So USB, we're gonna connect to our laptop, just like that. And then Type-C is going to be connected to our DJI Pocket 3. So after you connected it, it's gonna give you some vibration, then you need to turn it off, I mean, turn it on, then to press confirm and press file transfer OTG connection. So now it says connected and now we can use it to transfer our photos and videos to our laptop. So I'm gonna adjust my camera. So now it opens this window with all the photos and videos and all the files which are on our SD card in our DJI Pocket 3. So we need to open this folder, which is named DCIM. We open it, the next folder, and then here you can find all the files that are on your DJI Pocket 3. So in our case, I only want to transfer this file from my DJI Pocket 3 to my laptop. So to do this, I'm clicking on it once and I'm holding the mouse button and then I'm pulling it, oops, not like that, just one file, and I'm pulling that to my desktop. And now it starts the process of copying. So after it's finished, I can use my file. And just like that, you can transfer all of your files. If you want to transfer more than just one file, you will need to highlight more files and then just all of them you need to pull to your desktop or to a folder you want to transfer them to. So if you found this video useful, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel.